we come here not so much to prove ourselves or to earn a place in heaven or to um, try to do good and avoid sin. We come here to learn. Mm -hmm. And in each life, we have kind of a lesson plan that we, we're showing up with, with in a certain place, in a certain moment of time, in a certain, in a certain physical body, in a certain family, in a certain geopolitical situation. Mm -hmm. We show up in that, and, and, and there's a, a lot of opportunities to learning, and that each life we have certain learning experiences or opportunities and and we respond to that and and what we don't learn in one life we come back and get into an, a find another situation where we're going to you know work on that lesson again and so life is about learning it's not about proving one's goodness or or one's um or or or, or winning a, a a high station in the afterlife it's it's about um, not and not just learning, but also bringing what we learn to all the rest of consciousness, so that we're you know. And he's very clear about uh, that we are part of a a large, enormous sea of, of of collective consciousness. But each individual soul remains individual and re, and remains uh, a, a, a kind of a, a unit of learning that brings all of what. That, that soul learns in a particular life or over many lives up to all of consciousness. So consciousness continues to evolve as, while each of us grow and learn the lessons of each life. So that's another key issue, I think, or, that so it's a very different way of looking at life and life purpose than I grew up with. In, in, you know, in the Catholic Church, I had a, had a different cosmology right. about how things work and it's not not arguing that there isn't a god or there isn't there isn't some prime mover for the universe but the prime mover is all of us mm -hmm. that we are all part of that and that we we are all um, uh, engaged in the evolution of the, of the, of that uh, prime consciousness yeah. so that's very very different perspective than I got when I grew up uh, he talks a lot about soul groups, and soul groups is basically it's a group of people that you live with on the other side in the in the in the, in the life between lives, and and we have relation. It's, it's sort of like a it's like a neighborhood. You know, there's the folks that live in your house. You're very close to them. Then there's folks next to the door. And you're pretty close to them down the street. You know. Uh, you know, three, three or four blocks across town, and and, and there, you know, as there are people that we're pretty close to because we're sort of spiritually in the same geographic area, and those are people that we come back life after life with, and have, to, and we have many different relationships with them. In some cases, uh, Jordan in a past life was my wife, uh, for example. In another life, uh, I was female, and he was an unrequited love, um, and. <laughs> And so, you know, so we've had in this, this group of people that we are relatively close to, it's like a little repertory theater company yeah. where we keep coming, going to these plays and living out these plays for the purpose of learning. And we all show up together and we have very different relationships in different plays and in different lives. But um, over the course of many lives, we are all just learning together. Yeah. And so, it's a, so, and there's something very, I don't know, reassuring about that to me. It feels like... Uh, I think the, the the hardest thing about being on this planet is the sense of aloneness, of, of isolation, and and our, and also um, the amnesia. We just don't remember anything. We we don't know why we're here. We just show up, or you know, the doctor spanks our butt, and <laughs> we start to cry, and we don't, and and, and we enter with no um, instructions. Uh, and no information about about what why why we're here or what the purpose of all this is, and we have to kind of figure that out. It's a huge challenge to try to figure that out on our own. So the amnesia and the aloneness that we live with is a fundamental part of of our lives here. Um, is something that's is so deeply mitigated by by the by the knowledge that really we have these deep relationships that are in that are forever they're eternal with the, with the people the the other souls we know and those things will never stop and never end the love will never end um and and that we um 
and and that and that this sense of aloneness is really just an illusion. Uh, and all around us, both living and dead, are the are the souls that love us.